it is crazy windy. Try the Gore-Tex socks. Here they are. This is how our day begins with the sheep hanging out eating. And all of our climbing is front loaded today, so that's nice with a little bit more downhill, but we're going a little further. So we're going, uh, I think, about 60 miles today. And again, 2,500 feet of climbing. But good to get it all over with quickly in the beginning, well, most of it. And I don't think it's going to be as abrupt because yesterday it was so steep. And I don't know, I'm feeling good today. Darren, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little sore, but good. The wind is blowing a little bit, but not nearly as crazy as it was at the campsite. So let's hope that it stays a little bit protected and uh, doesn't make it too hard going today. Oh man, keep it keep. Stop what they're doing. Look at you. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was this person, it was this creature. Hunger oh yeah. Hey, you guys are the only cyclists we've seen. Oh uh, yes, hi. Yeah. Yeah, we started in uh, Wellington. Oh you started in Wellington? They're from Tiana, this is Simon and Sue. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. <laughs> that, that's where I lived before, so maybe we could meet up actually. Our first cycle tourist we've seen in New Zealand. <laughs> it is crazy windy. Look at the grass. Just permanently pushed that way. Ay. But beautiful, it's still sunny. Rain's supposed to come in tomorrow, so. We'll be cozied up with our warm showers host in Masterton and might stay there a couple nights. Hopefully the rain will pass. If not, we've got to host the next night too. How are you liking this wind? <laughs> Worst element. Oh, we're in one spot of relief right here. <gasps> Oh my god, that's why you need drop bars. It does help to like get down and then out of the wind, but even still it's just so annoying. <laughs> Cause you're on flat and you're just pushing as hard as you can. You're going down a hill, you're pushing as hard as you can. Oh, just feels never ending. Unlike a hill where you can get to the top of it. I think if you ask any cyclist, they will tell you they prefer a hill over a headwind. Okay, Darren, show us how to make the most delicious roadside sandwich. Cheese, salami, cucumber, honey, maybe a little bit of butter. <laughs> maybe. Yes, common theme. Yes, butter. And I got the sardines out too, because I'm just really hungry. I might add those onto my sandwich. You may think this is cheese, but this is butter. <laughs> okay, <I don't. laughs> the, the cheese, salami, cucumber, with a little bit of honey drizzled over top. 
That is primo. And if you had some sriracha, that would make it even better. So we should get some sriracha. Just open face sandwich or make it into a little taco. It is quite tasty. Mm -hmm. and then slightly downhill into Masterton today. Oh, and the sun came back out, that's nice. We are in Masterton. We stopped at the grocery store, stocked up. Darren's got her backpack full of stuff. I got cereal coming out of my handlebar bag. More stuff in the bags. You eat a lot when you're cycling, you eat a lot. That's it guys, um, we're gonna cruise into our warm shower host's home and maybe get a little work done, have some din-din and go to sleep. So, good night. Peace out. All right, so why are we in a car? Well, because we have come to a little bird sanctuary. Our host, George, is kind enough to bring us up here. See it. Right. Say hey to everybody. In his car that he won. This is crazy, the, the Taupo race around the lake. Apparently one of their spot prizes is a car and he won it. That's incredible. Well, yeah, we're gonna check out some, uh, some native birds. So I'm looking forward to that. Oof, we are not used to being in a car. Both of us are feeling a little bit, ugh. And some of you were asking, do we get sore? Yes, we get sore. We were both really sore yesterday. Did some stretching this morning. And it's good to have a rest day. And now I'll show you the kiwi. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look, there's a white kiwi. I didn't even know there was a white kiwi. It's a very screechy sound. I'm quite pleased I'm not in there. I climbed the lady. Sure, that was really cool. Mm -hmm.
thank you to George. He's coming up behind us. I'm just moving because I am cold and I realize, thanks to George, what I've got going on on my feet is not blisters. It is chillblains. I forgot that that was a thing. I think actually the last time I was in New Zealand, I got this. Let's check out my toes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's what's happening. And you're probably like, Ryan, why are you wearing sandals? It's cold. Uh, yeah, but I thought that it were blisters. So I thought I was giving my feet time to breathe today. That was the idea. And I thought, oh, we're going to be up here in the afternoon. And it was actually quite warm today. Like I was in a t-shirt earlier. Temperature has dropped and now I'm in sandals. And I realized that this is caused by cold. <laughs> Apparently some people get it, some people don't. I do get a heat rash when it's really hot. So I guess this is just what happens when it's really cold. Your extremities can get these kind of red itchy spots. So I thought it was a blister or a bug bite. So I got to get keep my feet warm and somehow not confined. <laughs> B vitamins are also supposed to help. So we're gonna pick up some B vitamins and some magnesium for our sore muscles. I'm falling apart here. I feel like I'm getting old. What's happening? So this thing will kill the animals instantly. It just goes straight into their head. You know, New Zealand has a huge pest problem. Look at that. Showing footage of them just getting annihilated by this thing. It just goes straight into their brain. Apparently it is class A humane. There's some of the traps. The birds would just be killed by the predators that were imported here for hunting and then to try to get rid of those animals. So now the traps and apparently this new good nature automatic kill trap is what they're trying to use to restore the native bush and bush life. All right, let's do that. All right, so we're going right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got, got it. it. And then left again. <laughs> and left 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 again. again. Okay, left. Okay, we finish it. on a left. <laughs> right. We got it. Ah, oh, thank you, George, for all of your hospitality. We had such a lovely time staying with you. Great cooking. That was great. Oh yeah, amazing. Food. Food. Lamb stew is where it's at. I finally feel like satisfied. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and he said he's noodles. making like a beef and a pumpkin soup tonight. I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> You're gonna make it stay again. <laughs> stay another night. Definitely not having oh, well, beef have and pumpkin good night. soup tonight. No. Good time. Thank you. We will. Uh, can't let's wait. roll. Okay. <laughs> All right, George, we made it. <laughs> We're on the straightaway, almost to the main road. We did our left, right, left, right. Look at that rainbow. It's a little bit rainy today. The storm is supposed to come in later this afternoon. We don't have too far to go today. We're going about 233 miles or something uh, into Martinborough. And we have another host there that we're staying with. So that's nice. And then after that, we'll be camping for two nights, I believe. And then we'll be in Upper Hut staying with another Warm Showers host. So for anybody that works for Warm Showers or is a volunteer, really appreciate all you do. This network is so awesome. Such a cool way to meet other cyclists and get a warm meal, warm bed, and yeah, just get a little feel for the local culture, get tips on the trails, just fantastic. And we're super stoked to be hosting eventually once we have our own place. Yeah. Airfields here. Really pretty start. future yurt and land that we're gonna buy somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. We don't know when or where. We're thinking that's the next, that's the next step in life. As well as making all these radtastic videos for you guys. Okay, I think these are the oak trees he was talking about. So they're planted for the soldiers that died during World War One. Yeah, in this area. Wow. But I don't know how to be just friends. 
I like the way those trees look. It's like bright orange. That's what I'm talking about, 1.5 meters, that's perfect. That was like the shortest day ever. <laughs> I feel like that went by so fast, it was like really downhill. The wind was kind of blowing every which way. Yeah, but we got a good tailwind for part of it. And I think we were going like 15 miles an hour or something. Yeah. It had to have been. Which is definitely faster than we're usually going on a touring bike. So I was like, looked at the map. Oh my God, we're like two miles away from Martinboro. Okay, we're here. I know, is there a wine tasting? We do have milk and cookies too. Or we could be adults and go to a wine Sauvignon tasting, Blanc. I suppose. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc is really good around here. To be just friends. Is that what love? To be close to you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll just have you laughing because there's no face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>